Hello, you're watching KC News. Serdar Girdli is in the studio with you. In a modern world, the issue of reliable and profitable investment has a key importance. The most reliable options are banks, but bank interest barely covers inflation and does not bring profit. The second most reliable investment option is real estate market, but usually the threshold for such projects is very high. SQPay offers a solution. Investing in real estate using cryptocurrency with a low entry threshold. Today, we have a wonderful opportunity to talk to Oleg Pletnyov, a SQPay consultant on financial and legal issues. Good evening, Oleg. Thanks that you have agreed to this interview. Uh, good evening. Um, thank you for inviting me. Tell us a little about the SQPay project and how the idea to start the company was born. So, thank you for inviting me to the interview. Uh, the idea was born by enthusiasts in the real estate market who have seen the benefits of uh, blockchain technology that can be combined with the real sector of economy. The core idea of the project is uh, to get the crypto investments from the participants in mutual funds to invest them in uh, the purchase of uh, commercial real estate uh, objects and rent them to the big uh, supermarket, shops, bars, restaurants, local and uh, global companies, get the money for the rent and transfer them back to the fund, to the participants, and then distribute them to the part between the participants of the ITO project. Uh, this is a core idea. So this is a combination of crypto investments and real estate objects that generate cash from the uh, rent, renting of the objects. Could you tell us about the benefits of crypto invest in real estate and about the benefits of your project? Why should people invest into SQPay? Uh, so the main uh, benefit, the main advantage of the project uh, is the conjunction of a highly volatile crypto currency and the sector of economy, real commercial real estate, which is stable and uh, safe investment in our opinion. Based on our experience, we can, uh, we can propose that uh, renting the commercial real estate objects can provide to investors, to participants, the profitability, the return on their investments around 10 to 15 percent, so the target uh, figure at this stage is 14% profitability that, uh, that we will strive to achieve by our project. And uh, this achievement is based on uh, the fundamental factors, which is a real object that uh, will back the investment. And uh, uh, this profitability does not include the market fluctuations, extra points to the profitability. We believe that the company will be successful and uh, traded in the market. And how can I become an investor of SQPay? What steps do I need to do? What is the entry threshold and how soon should I expect the profit? So to become the investor, uh, at the moment you need to have some crypto coins. For instance, for the pre-ITO phase, you need to have some uh, Ethereum and you invest them according to the instructions that is published to, at our site. And at the moment you can buy one token for equivalent of $50, whereas at ITO phase the token will cost $100. And we believe that uh, in around one year we will get the opportunity to have all the infrastructure ready, uh, we will uh, be able to buy the first object by that time. And uh, I think in not less than in the uh, first quarter after the acquisition of the first uh, real estate object, uh, we will distribute our first dividends. That's wonderful. But there are always risks. What are the potential risks for investors and how do you guarantee the safety of funds? Uh, so, there is surely uh, a risk 
the main risk, I would call it uh, the macroeconomic risk. And uh, this is a risk that uh, every investor faces. Uh, the biggest uh, risk is the volatility of the crypto funds market. At the moment, the price of the crypto coins can go up and down. So what we propose to do is to secure the investments in uh, the real estate market, in the real sector of economy, which will be backed by real estate objects that are always on demand. This is really important, thank you. Can you tell us a little about your financial model? How will the profit from the rent of property under management be allocated? So, when we speak about the economic model that we have projected and we've done the budget of profit and loss, uh, we've done the cash flow budget and you can see it on our side. We have also projected the balance sheet. We propose uh, that by the end of the first year we will be able to grant the profitability of around 14% to the participants and based on this profitability and the money got from the renters we will be able to distribute dividends but we do not, do not want to distribute all the dividends uh, we want to distribute 30 to 50 percent of dividends to the public and this will be the matter of voting which will be organized on our site on our platform and the rest will be reinvested in the purchase of uh, another objects of commercial real estate and uh, that might be also objects outside one country at the beginning we planned that these objects will be in Russia, where the main team is located at the moment. But to diversify these macroeconomic risks that each country faces, we propose that we will be investing in real estate objects uh, worldwide in some developed countries. And thus, we will diversify the uh, risks of currency volatility of uh, local markets. These are the other risks that face every investor and that should be diversified. How do you plan to organize the system from a legal point of view? Will the investment opportunity be available for US and Singapore citizens? Okay, so when I answer the first part of the question, I will let you know that soon we will publish the legal structure of the company, of the fund. You will be able to see it on our site soon. It's already done and it's just a few days and you will be able to, to see it on our site. The core of the scheme will be the trust registered in the jurisdiction with a developed system of Anglo-Saxon Right. We believe this uh, will be Hong Kong or maybe another jurisdiction. At the charter of the trust, we will write of uh, the participants, of ITO participants. And uh, these rights, they will be based on the blockchain technology. I mean, the ledger of uh, trust ownership will be based on the blockchain technology. And uh, the participants uh, themselves will be those registrars that register the share of uh, participation of each uh, participant in a trust. So th this will help us to avoid extra costs for the third parties like registrars who charge money for their verification of shares of each participant. Then the uh, trust will get money from the wallet of the project of the SQPay over the exchange. For example, Gatecoin, we, at the moment, we are thinking of making cooperation with this exchange. The money will get to the bank account of the trust and then they will be invested in real estate objects via the companies in the residences where the real estate objects are located. And the money from rental of these objects, they will be transferred back to the bank account of the trust first and then over the exchange 
like the Bitcoin, they will be transferred back to the wallet and to the ITO participants as a dividend. At the moment, we believe that major shareholders will be able to have uh, the opportunity to get dividends directly to their bank accounts, not over the uh, wallets. And, but this will be the option that we will propose to the participants. That's it. Please tell us a few words about the specialists gathered in the team. So, uh, we're a team of people, specialists in uh, different fields of uh, economy. Our main initiator, the, the leader, is uh, Vasily Mashkov. He's a big expert in the uh, real estate market. He's been doing it since 2007. I am Oleg Pletnev. I work as a CEO of a company that offers accounting and uh, management accounting and uh, tax accounting services to the industrial sector of Russia. We also make some legal and IT support for our clients. The other uh, member of our team is uh, Denis Sharabin. He's a big IT specialist. He's based in St. Petersburg. Also, we have uh, Kirill Andreev and Dmitry Koshalev, who are also big experts in IT industry. So, I am based in Moscow at the moment. The rest of the team is based in St. Petersburg. But we are all friends and we are really motivated to finalize this project and make it real and profitable. Now you are at the stage of pre-ITO. On what date is your main ITO schedule? What are your expectations? So, the initial uh, plan is to have an ITO on the 2nd of October this year. We hope that uh, we will have enough time to the ITO done by that time. But there is a big amount of work to be done that might take us extra months until the start of ITO, so we can uh, probably move it to the 2nd of November. And we expect that by that time we will have uh, all the legal structure ready. For the money that we get pre-ITO stage, we plan to organize all the legal consultations and register all the companies that you will see at the scheme uh, and uh, get our IT platform ready based on blockchain technology. That's a huge amount of work and I think we will finish by the end of September, maybe beginning of October. For the pre-ITO uh, phase, we think of soft capitalization about $100,000 and uh, hard capitalization is $300,000. For the station of ITO phase, we expect to get 10 million dollars in equivalent gathered to invest in uh, the objects that we will choose by that time and propose to the investors for the vote. Thank you, Oleg. We are always ready to participate in the development of a promising company, creating video news. And how do you feel about another interview after the SQP ITO? We will be really happy to give another interview after the ITO. So, and. Uh, we feel really interested and uh, motivated to finish the project, to make the, all the work uh, done and uh, to report of results to you, to the public. We will definitely publish all our financial and uh, technical results on our site, on our platform. And uh, we will be happy to announce on the results, on our achievements here on your channel. So if you let us make an interview next time, we will be really happy. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much. We wish you good luck and look forward to see you soon after your successful ITO. See you soon. Bye-bye.